What's up guys, Jake here with Jake Scott Herps, not to confuse the herpes, herpes is nasty. And today I'm going to be talking about a question that I get asked from a lot of first time snake owners and that is, why are my snake's eyes blue? And if you look here, Reggie, my Colombian boa has these really cloudy, milky, blue colored eyes, just a very, you know, opaque colored eyes. You can't see his pupils, you can't see any part of his eye really. And basically what that signifies is that your snake is shedding, is, or is about to shed. Now, how this happens is, during their shed cycle, they'll actually secrete a liquid between their new layer of skin and their old layer of skin. So right underneath his skin is actually a bit of liquid. And as they shed, they reabsorb that liquid and that's when uh, the eyes are blue when they secrete that liquid. And then once they reabsorb it, they'll actually go back to normal. So even people that know what the shed cycle is and you know, know that when your snake's eyes are blue, that they're actually shedding, get confused sometimes because they actually go back to a somewhat normal color before they actually shed their skin because they're reabsorbing that that uh, that secreted liquid. So that's one way you can tell your snake is in shed, obviously, is the blue eyes. It's pretty much a classic thing. Pretty much all snakes have this, and it's just uh, a part of the shed cycle. Uh, also, you can tell they get really, really dark in color a lot of times, some snakes more than others. If you've ever seen a Brazilian rainbow bow in shed, it's a really, really crazy thing. Like, it almost looks... Like, I'm not going to say cooler than it does normally because a Brazilian Rainbow Bow is a beautiful snake, but it looks like, it literally looks like a ghost. Like, they get super pale. Reggie here, he just gets really dark in color, as you can see. Normally, he's like a light brown color, and right now, he's really, really dark, as you can tell. And a lot of snakes get really ornery during their shed cycle. That's pretty normal. Also, some snakes uh, refuse, feud, refuse, feud, refuse food excuse me, uh, during this cycle as well. Those can be some of your more finicky snakes. Thankfully, Reggie's neither of these. He will eat. He will, you know, uh, he, he's calm when he's doing his shed cycle. But basically, a lot of the times they do get a little bit more stressed out, a little bit more flighty when they're in their shed cycle because when they have that those cloudy blue eyes, they can't really see anything and they can't hear very well. And uh, overall, they just don't really have a good sense of awareness around them. So when you go in there and you start grabbing at them, then they kind of get freaked out. But uh, Reggie, he's a really nice snake here. And uh, aside from the blue eyes, as well as the uh, the dark color, you can also tell, and I hopefully he lets me borrow his tail here. It's all right, Reggie. And actually, if you look on the underside of the belly here, you can see it's like a pink color. It's a, like a reddish pink color. Uh, that's another way you can tell that uh, your snake is shedding. And I've had questions about this as well. People are asking like, well, why is my snake's belly red? Does it have burns or something? That little pink color is also uh, signifies that the shed cycle as well. It's a lot more evident in other snakes. I've noticed it a lot in anacondas, uh, generally have it the most, but you can pretty much see it in all snakes here. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little video. I know for a lot of you guys, this is pretty, pretty trivial stuff, but for a lot of people, uh, they don't really understand, they don't really know. So I figured I'd make this video kind of telling you and showing you uh, why your snake's eyes will turn blue and just about the shed cycle in general. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, seeing Reggie, I know he's obviously, like I just explained, he's in his shed, so he's not as pretty as he will be. I can make another video if you guys want me to once he's shed out, and I can show you, you know, the finished product of the shed. One more thing I forgot to mention, though, is that when your snake looks like this, you want to up the humidity in the cage. Now, because this cage has very low ventilation, there's only a, a couple little things right up here. I really don't have to do much to it, even with this dry. It's basically like a recycled paper substrate, and I kind of like it a lot. I'll talk about that later, but uh, because there's very little ventilation, I can pretty much get the humidity I need for him to shed out in one piece just from a water bowl, but if I needed to, I could uh, spray him down a little bit, give him some baths just to help the humidity up it, the humidity so the skin kind of comes off all in one piece. You want your snake shed to come off in one piece, and you don't want any stuck on their eyes, uh, known as eye caps. Those are, those are tough for the snake because they can't really see out of them, but uh, yeah, so Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.